And here is the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, the 12th of October, 2019. The great tradition of Oktoberfest goes back to this day in 1810 when the Crown Prince of Bavaria, Ludwig, was getting married to Princess Therese of Saxony. They wanted to invite the entire city of Munich along to celebrate. There was horse racing and there was lots and lots of beer. And the Bavarians had such a good time, they decided to hold the same party the next year and then again and again and again. These days, Oktoberfest starts in late September and goes for about two weeks. It's the birthday of the author and psychologist Robert Coles, born in Boston, 1929, author of more than 60 books. He was in the South at the beginning of the Civil Rights Movement. He was planning to be a child psychologist, and one day during a visit to New Orleans, 1960, he saw a white mob surrounding a six-year-old black girl named Ruby Bridges, who was kneeling in her starched white dress in the middle of it all to pray for the mob that was attacking her. And Coles decided to begin what would become his work for the next few decades, trying to understand how children and their parents come to terms with radical change, became his book Children of Crisis, which came out in 1967. Robert Coles said, We should look inward and think about the meaning of our life and its purposes, lest we do it in 20 or 30 years, and it's too late. It's the birthday of the poet and translator Robert Fitzgerald, born in Geneva, New York, 1910, best known for his English translations of Homer's Odyssey and the Iliad. He was classics professor at Harvard, and he liked to recite Homer out loud. It was on this day in 1786, Thomas Jefferson, the U.S. ambassador to France, wrote a love letter to a married English woman named Maria Cosway, over 4,000 words long, which is more than three times the length of the Declaration of Independence. He had broken his right hand, leaping over a fountain when he was out for a walk with Maria Cosway. So he had to write out the letter with his left hand. And he wrote it as a dialogue between his head and his heart, what he should do about his great love for her. In the end, his head wins out. And Maria Cosway stayed married to her husband until he died in 1789. And then she moved to Italy to start a convent school. Thomas Jefferson became the third president of the United States about 15 years later. Here's a poem by Lewis Jenkins entitled Boredom. Nowadays... I'm seldom bored. There simply isn't time. Not because I'm so busy, it's just that time passes more quickly as one gets older. Boredom that once lasted hours is now compacted, concentrated, so that one can experience hours of boredom in a few seconds. Intense boredom that causes me to nod off, but only for five minutes, or has it been an hour? Well, time is relative, like that distant relative who used to be me plodding home after school in a daydream in a fog so that each time he wakes, he finds himself standing on the same red anthill or running, side, aching, breathless for miles in the wrong direction with the murderous Willard brothers right behind. A poem by Lewis Jenkins' Boredom from Just Above Water, published by Holy Cow Press and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well. Do good work and keep in touch.